It might be a frustrating process if your application for a visa to Canada is denied. And it's important to keep in mind though that visa denial does not always mean the end of your plans to Canada. There are several options you can consider after a visa refusal. My name is Andrea Bailey and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant with Yala Canada. In today's video, we're going to talk about what you can do after a Canadian visa refusal. If your Canada visa is refused, there are a couple of things that you can do to quickly initiate. Number one, applying for the GCMS notes. Number two, applying for reconsideration if you believe there is a mistake on the part of the officer. But strategically, there are other considerations which I will cover in this video. You might think that the first thing you could do after a visa refusal is to either reapply or in some cases appeal to the federal court. Yes, you could do that, but it may not be the most effective option. Instead of that, it would be more effective to possibly review the reasons for your visa denial. Carefully examine the refusal letter to understand the reasons that the officer has stated for not approving your visa. So this will give you an insight into specific issues that need to be addressed if you are applying once again. Number two would be to seek legal advice. If you believe that the refusal was unjustified or you are unsure about how to proceed, consider consulting an immigration lawyer or advisor. They can provide guidance and help you navigate the process going forward. Number three would be appeal. Now, this would be depending on the type of visa and the reason for refusal, you may have the option to actually appeal the decision. This usually involves submitting additional evidence to support your application. Now, keep in mind that the appeal process can vary and timings can actually be extended because it is a long drawn out process and not all visa types allow for appeals. Number four would be improve your profile if possible. If your application was refused due to insufficient ties to your home country or concerns about your ability to support yourself while in Canada, take the time to improve your profile. Strengthen your ties to your home country or show proof that you have strengthened them. Gather more stable financial documents and enhance your travel history if possible. Now, before we go to the fifth and final option, make sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be updated with our latest upload videos on Canadian immigration. Number five would be reapply. In some cases, of course, you may be able to reapply for the visa after addressing the concerns that have been raised in the refusal letter. Make sure to provide additional documentation or clarification to strengthen your case. Now, remember that visa regulations and processes can and change almost on a weekly basis. So it's essential to stay updated with all of the latest information from the official Canadian government website or consult with a qualified immigration consultant. That's a wrap for today's video. If you have any further questions about Canadian immigration, comment down below and please like and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss our latest videos. See you in the next one.